said that every city has a rhythm, and with that comes a soul. Dublin is truly the beating heart of Ireland, but as actions around the protocol escalate, it may well find itself under pressure. Dublin is a thriving modern European city with close links to Britain, both historically and culturally, but most of all, economically. And in any trade war, that's what will be hit first. Paul McCullough is a Fianna Foyle TD from Finglas in Dublin. He believes trade went past any political barriers. Yeah, I can't remember whether it was the, our president or the Queen that put it that there is a huge connection between Britain and Ireland, almost in spite of the political arrangements, that it was about people of those two islands. And that was about business too. Businesses traded with each other across the two islands, almost regardless of uh, all of the political violence and also the political uh, institutions and our, and our own separation from, from the UK. And throughout all of that, free trade was a really important part. The new EU land frontier is all but invisible. But protection for the single market means Irish companies are turning from the UK and opting for European suppliers. So that border had to be somewhere. It's now in the Irish Sea. And that does cause problems with Irish companies dealing with Britain. But there is no protocol. There is un uh, unfettered free trade with European Union countries. And increasingly, we're seeing Irish companies using the European Union more and more, whereas traditionally we'd use the UK. Ireland does recognise the need to negotiate and says legislation, or the threat of it, is not helping. If we can put aside the threat of legislation, if we can sit down at a table and we can try and reach a deal, we've always been able to reach a deal on this island when, when people are put around the table. If there's a trade war starts tomorrow and there is sanctions to be put against Britain, do you, do you really think that, that Poland, Estonia and Latvia will sanction Britain? It's very clear that the European Union has stood by Ireland all the way through. Uh, I think they will look to Ireland and ask the question, uh, what would you like us to do? Uh, and I think Ireland wants at this point a deal. So I don't want to talk about a trade war because Ireland doesn't want a trade war. Uh, I've said over and over, we lose more than anybody else in a trade war. Uh, we, will, we, we will feel that impact. So let's look at a negotiated settlement. Uh, I think the European Union will look to us and at this point we're saying no trade war, we want a deal. As in any divorce, there's always unintended damage and Ireland hopes to avoid being just that. Doogie BD, GB News. Dublin.